So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out ride. Hello, all my sirs, ladies, and ladies out there. How's it going? It's Brad Wheel, and also known as GBJ57, and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 Pimp My Ride. Now, right now, we are only two days away from the new After Hours DLC, and I figured before then I'd get a couple more of the other cars done. Now, this right here is the Ubermac Revolter, and it's actually a sports car. I wasn't aware of that. You don't see many people with this car online because it is very expensive and there is not a lot of car customizations, which actually kind of sucks. Uh, but I will customize it today. It spawned in in this, uh, in this nice yellow and white, which actually looks pretty good as a bright color on the car. Probably not how I'll customize it, but thought it was a cool way to start it off. Uh, now, it, all it has on here is liveries as well as it has the respray options and, of course, the wheels. Now, the stock wheels on this thing are pretty nice, but the one thing that isn't cool about this car, because um, the customizations are kind of lame, is that this thing's an absolute animal on the track. If you guys saw there, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't, you know, fully uh, go down on the acceleration there, but this thing is an animal. It's 0 to 60 is so fast for sports cars. I noticed right away as soon as I was driving it that it drives so fast, and you'll see after I put all the engine mods and that kind of stuff on, on here and customize it, I'll take it outside and I'll drive it around for you guys for a little bit, but it, this thing is insanely fast, so I'm definitely going to max out engine uh, brakes and armor there. Lights, we're going to put Xenon lights. Um, I don't know what to do with this car. Uh, maybe no, maybe no neon for now. I'll come back to that if we want. Now, it looks like our camos today, our liveries are all camos, I should say. Uh, because we got the basic camo, then Kudo camo sprayed. Uh, we got the three color, which is a pretty cool one. Uh, we got 90 sandbox, modern five color, arid theater, winter camo, urban warrior. And then there's a whole bunch of lock ones. Now, I, I'm familiar with these ones from online. I'm customizing this right now with mods today. Um, and I actually don't have access to these because there's no such thing as an MOC in a bunker uh, online. Or, uh, sorry, in single player. So I can't actually unlock these unless I use a mod menu. So we can actually go check those out right now. Um, and we should be able to access them through the mod menu. If, if we are so gifted to do so so liveries we got 31 so let's go check out the nature reserve uh we got naval battle urban geometric coyote geometric large uh naval desert fractal we got urban fractal these are all pretty cool ones then we got all the digitals uh there's even more down here we got skulls uh we got knuckle buster which just looks like the cars bit i can't actually tell what those are Oh, and there, there, you can see them a little better on the front there. We got some uh, brass knuckles and some other little things, some pills and stuff on the car. Very little. Uh, we got conveyor, some stars. Oh, it's a whole bunch of rock star logos. Hilarious. Uh, we got tartan, which is <laughs> the plaid on the car. Galaxy, which is actually a pretty cool one. Uh, trees camo, candy wrap, and it's a wrap. So you can make this a nice Christmas car with deck the halls. Holy shit, you guys see this right now. Look at that camo. You know what? That Galaxy one actually had me intrigued. And you know what? I think we can do something cool with that. Why don't we pop this beauty back inside? I was thinking at first of making this more of like an executive car and kind of, you know, making the outside either a black or a graphite or a metal and then making the interior like a nice uh, red leather or a nice sienna brown leather. But I'm thinking we could do two builds with this thing and make a pretty damn cool color uh, with this livery right here. So let's try that out. Oh, even with the uh, even with the graphite, that actually looks phenomenal on the car. Uh, let's see what we can do with some sort of purple or midnight blue on the car would look cool. Uh, let's see what we got here. So this is midnight blue, which that actually looks really badass. So you know what? We're going to try midnight blue on here. Um, maybe I'll try midnight purple as well just to take a peek at it. Uh, the galaxy blue with the galaxy livery also does look really really good uh if you want more blue accents on it but i rarely use a midnight blue so we're gonna try that but i'll just take a look at midnight purple as well uh because midnight purple is a very cool color oh oh you know what i i might be a midnight purple on this car i might do that for the primary and the secondary uh as a midnight purple on this one look at that that is a phenomenal livery for this now that's a really cool now interior uh we can still do our sienna brown seats we can still do that I think that'd be still cool. So we got Sienna Brown there on the interior. A nice dark leather. 
You know what? It, it doesn't go with this one as much. I might have to make the interior white for this one, and on the second build, I might make the nice leather interior. But I think on this one, the white interior is probably a little bit better. Transmission, of course, turbo tuning. Let's get it done. I can't wait to take this thing outside and just go full blast down the stretch there, because this thing is crazy on the acceleration. No, wheel type, the chrome wheels that we do have on right now are really, really nice. I do really like those. Uh, but let's check out some other sport wheels. Let's see what we got here. So some Infernos, um, I don't know, Diamond Cuts are kind of nice. Let's see what else we got here. Some of, some of these other ones, like the Bolt-On for, for the RR, I uh, don't really need that quite that. The GT1s are pretty nice. Uh, what if we did high-end wheels and just did our, our classic GT Chromes? Because those are some nice Chrome wheels for this one. And this car actually reminds me a lot of the, uh, of the NS Windsor Drop. Which is also, I don't know, just very similar car size, I want to say. Uh, what about these Super Geese and make them alloy? I'm thinking those look pretty cool. I wish I could have them chrome, but it, it looks like I can't do that today. Uh, with the, I guess with the single player, it doesn't let you do chrome wheels. Unless I probably can do that with the mod menu again. So let's see what we can do there. Uh, wheel category. Uh, we're going to want the high-end wheels. I already decided that. And then wheel choice. Uh, okay, looks like we can go with chrome. So Super Geek Chrome are right here, and those look super sick in chrome. I'm thinking this car looks pretty badass, and if you, I, if I wanted to, I could actually go back in and put a livery on there and do that underglow of, uh, of a purple or of sorts. But let's take this thing. We got our straightaway right here. You guys want to see the 0 to 60. We got the speedometer right there. Let's see how fast this thing can get 0 to 60. 3, 2, 1, and go! Fire it up, and... That was about, I want to say that was about three seconds, zero to 60 in it. And what's supposed to be a sports car is pretty incredible, actually. That's pretty impressive. This is a very fast car. You'll notice driving around uh, is very quick. Uh, obviously, it's a very, a very long car as far as sports cars go. So the handling is where this car's downside is. Uh, but on acceleration, it definitely does have a clear advantage on the acceleration than a lot of other supercars. So that's pretty cool. Now let's take it back in for a second build. I actually really like that. That's so cool with the Galaxy. I didn't even realize that was a livery that you could do. Alright, so you know what? I'm thinking that idea I had for the executive build is exactly what we're going to be doing on this build. So we're going to throw no livery on there. Uh, respray, what are we thinking? One of the metals maybe? Are we going to go with a brushed black steel? I'm thinking that's our executive look right there. Br brushed black steel. I'm going to go do the pearlescent glitch real quick. Because uh, that is an awesome thing you can do. So you I could make it black and make this a really dark car. Or I could make it a white or cream. You know what? The cream actually looks baller. I'm going to throw that on there. It just looks nice and warm. Nice and crisp. Uh, the metals. I could make the second metal an actual a lighter tone there maybe maybe i'll make it the brush steel not the brush black steel just a little bit lighter on the roof and the hood which i think is really cool uh trim color on the inside now we're gonna go get our our nice sienna brown leather on the interior um and you know what just to cap this off just to make it like we are a mob boss cruising through town we're gonna go with some red underglow uh we got the chrome tires on there now why don't i pick out why don't i change up the tires on this one uh we'll go back into high ends because this is our this is our mobster vehicle right here we're gonna stay in the high end wheels and the gt chromes i feel like would be the best bet because then you can get this this color on there uh we got red brake calipers red interior of the chrome wheels and a red underglow on our executive vehicle right here i'm thinking this looks pretty badass i don't know about you guys but this is a spiffy looking car. This is a nice, clean build for the Revolta. The first one was like a showy build, which actually with that Galaxy livery makes me want to get this thing online because that was actually really, really cool. And you know what? I'm liking the executive build too. It's a nice, clean build. Uh, has a little bit of accent color, obviously. Got to keep, uh, got to keep a little bit of color. And let's actually check this thing out at night because I think that'd be pretty cool uh, seeing it at night with that underglow. It's gonna look super clean. So let's check that out. There we go. Nice red underglow on the car. Got those nice red wheels showing off. And just that nice crisp metal paint job with the uh, with the cream on there. And actually it looks really, really cool. Under the going under the headlights and uh, sorry, going under the street lights, I should say. Looks really awesome on this car. I like it. You know what? I'm digging this car. I didn't think it was gonna be that good at first because there was a lack of customizations, but after customizing it in a couple different 
different styles. I think it's actually a pretty cool car, and with its cool, uh, cool acceleration stats, it does seem like it could be a somewhat decent car for driving around. Maybe not the best for races with a lot of turns and that kind of stuff because the handling isn't amazing, but it is still a very cool car. As you can see there, handling's a little off. Um, it does hold its own doing the doing the swivel test here. Not too shabby, but the acceleration's really where it uh, where it tops out as a decent sports car. So I think that concludes this episode of GTA 5. Hit my ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And let me tell uh, tell me down below what you guys think of this car. I think it's a pretty cool one. Um, you know, given the fact that it doesn't have many customizations, it is fairly overpriced online. But what can you do? Rockstar is going to make everything overpriced. I hope you guys are excited for the After Hours DLC that comes out in two days. So close. Leave a hashtag after hours down in the comments down below if you watch this far in the video and you are excited for that after hours dlc i'll see you guys in the next one stay tuned for that live stream on tuesday of all the awesome after hours stuff hope you enjoyed the video remember to leave a like comment and subscribe down below if you have not already and as always have a good day